It's a brand new shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch haters everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shaving brush in the shave den. It's brand new from Phoenix Shaving. Really, really excited to show it to you. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is from Phoenix Shaving, brand new shaving brush, the Astraeus. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Astraeus or Astraeus. I'm going to say Astraeus. I'm going with Astraeus. The Astraeus shaving brush. This is a 22 millimeter shaving knot and it is a clear acrylic handle. This is absolutely beautiful and I have their app here on my tablet. If you don't have the Phoenix shaving app, I recommend you getting it. It really is a terrific, terrific app for your smartphone or tablet. So there's the artwork right there, Astraeus. And it is a 22 millimeter shaving brush featuring new Micro Super Future Hybrid Synthetic Knot. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, soft knot. And it also has some nice backbone. Not overly so, not underly so. It's a really nice feel to it. And it's 22 millimeter uh, knot. And it actually has a feel more along the lines of a 24 millimeter knot. That's the way it impresses me. I also love the acrylic handle and the shape of it fits so very, very nicely into the hand. Really uh, just a wonderful, wonderful shaving brush to hold and to use. And we're going to build a lather with it. Let me give you some uh, more information here from the app. It says here, Amit the Astraeus 22 millimeter shave brush, homage to the vintage 1960s made right Lucite 116 or Lucite 116. I don't know how, they, well, I don't know what the correct pronunciation is, but it's the made right Lucite 116. And uh, they have a picture of it here on their uh, product page. And uh, yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful homage to that brush. Again, I love how uh, Douglas Smythe reaches back into the history of the traditional wet shave and brings these kind of products back to the uh, wet shaving community of today using modern 21st century manufacturing technology. Absolutely beautiful. It is just stunning. Check out the uh, logo on the uh, on the base here. Isn't that it's just everything about everything about these products that come from Phoenix Shaving are just they pay attention to the details is what I'm saying. It's just a really they, they do their homework. They know their history. They pay, they pay attention to the details. And uh, that's why you get such a stunning looking brush like this. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to have a shave with it. Uh, as they say here about the Micro Super Future Hybrid Knot, um, some of you would be amazed at how fast synthetic fibers are evolving. With the market and demand for synthetic knots growing, the competition in quality and development will send your head spinning. And as he goes on to say is that synthetic knots are getting better and better and better, and this, is, this particular knot is a result of that increased competition out there in the market. Uh, let me see if I can give you some uh, specs on it. Uh, the complete length is 4.5 inches or 140, 114 millimeters. The width at its widest point is 41 millimeters. The width at its shortest point is 26.5 millimeters. Its uh, weight is 74 grams. The knot is 22 millimeters. The handle uh, material is acrylic. Uh, it's BPA free, uh, phenylate free, PVC free, and lead free. So yeah, uh, really touching all the bases uh, from uh, Phoenix Shaving, touching all the bases with this fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. Hang on a minute. Just want to move that out of the way and kind of set that out of the way so it won't get wet. So we're going to have a shave with it. We're going to go ahead and soak this in the um, 
in the sink and we're going to wet the face. We're going to get to the shave. I'm going to kick it off with a hot towel and I'm going to apply the hot towel on my face. I'm going to let this brush soak and then we'll tell you what else we're using uh, for this shave today as we go along. So let's wet the face. Let's get a hot towel. Let's get to the shave. <laughs> I like to put a little bit of water on my face before I apply a hot towel. And oh boy, is this, oh boy, that's nice. Oh boy, ooh, that's terrific. Check out that steam. Let me just, a little bit like that. Boy, oh boy, that, <laughs> that's good and hot. Boy, this is terrific. Okay, hang on one minute. Okay, I'll be with you in just a moment. That's marvelous. The only thing missing is reclining in a barber chair, you know? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to use it to dry off my hands. We're going to be using uh, Awesome Sauce from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, this is an homage to Parasso Green. This is Parasso Green to the power of 10. It's absolutely fantastic. If you like Parasso Green, you're going to love Awesome Sauce. So we already have some in the bowl here. I had some hot water that I already previously dumped out. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this brush, and we're going to make a lather right here in the uh, bowl. In the bowl, I'm using the Paul Gruner uh, lathering bowl that came courtesy of viewer Jimmy V. And the reason why I'm using it is because I can get a really, really good handle of it, real good grasp of it because of the way it's designed. And it's very unlikely, you know, knock wood, to uh, slip out of my hand. So look at that already. Look at the brush action and how that's already developing there. We're going to take, I mean, already, look, I mean, that's just amazing. And I only have a little bit in there. We're going to get a little more water here on this brush. 22 millimeter knot. And the other reason why we're using this is because this has a lip that folds over. Uh, the lip around the rim that kind of folds over it and keeps that lather in there even though I'm tilting it at an angle. All right, so we're going to get some more water. We definitely need more. I'm really dipping the brush in and letting it drink up the water. This is formula CK6. Really likes water. Absolutely. Look how that is just lathering up. I mean, the lather is just building. Boy, I need more water. I need more water. Look at that. Look at how that is just, look at how that lather develops. That's beautiful. Now again, a lot of viewers, Jimmy V in particular, have been telling me about how they swirl in a puck of CK6, say three to five times, and they go right to their lathering bowl and they get this huge, huge amount of lather. Now I probably use a little more soap than three to five swirls. I scooped out, but you can see already how much lather I get and how a 22 millimeter knot is doing such a beautiful beautiful job of building this lather look how much I have look at how much I have I think this is done look at that look at it boom lather huh <laughs> wow that is a lot and that's a 22 millimeter brush with this new synthetic knot from Phoenix Shaving Absolutely fantastic. We're going to go ahead and just, just let that, just let that sit right now. And I'm going to go back in and wet my face and we're going to do some pre-shave with the Cube 2.0. Okay, two splashes. Here's the Cube 2.0 is my pre-shave. I'm going to uh, actually wash my face with it degrease my skin a little bit and uh, then we'll apply it as a pre-shave. All right, let's rinse. I want to do some heavy rinsing because I did want to mention to you I have two days worth of beard growth, okay? Can you see that? Two days worth of beard growth. 
All right, I'm going to apply this again as my pre-shave. This has uh, menthol, CK6, activated charcoal. I love using the cube. All right. All right, that's got it. Again, we're going to use this hot towel as a uh, towel to uh, wipe off my hands. So here we go. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful lather. And the brush does a great job of painting it on. Look at that. I have a beautiful, thick, rich, creamy, yogurty lather here that is just awesome. <laughs> well, I'm using awesome sauce. So yeah, it would be, it, it just goes to follow that it's an awesome lather. But look how this brush has done such a wonderful job. Wow. Somebody uh, on one of the forums, I think it was Shave Dad forum on Facebook, want a recommendation on a, a brush for travel. And um, uh, myself and another viewer, at least, I'm sure there were others, are saying that this brush, this Astraeus brush, is a nice size for travel, but it's also great as a daily driver uh, for your home Shave Den. It is absolutely fantastic. And look how much lather I have there. I mean, I got a lot of lather there. Wow. I got a lot on the face. And we're ready to go. Let me just set this aside here. Okay. Uh, my razor is going to be the uh, Phoenix Shaving Ascension Double Open Comb Razor. Twist Adjustable in Stainless Steel. And it has the removable, removable bomb tip handle so I've got a nice blue bomb tip on there. We're also using a uh, Phoenix Shaving Platinum Strangelet razor blade in there. So we're going to give this, because I got two days worth of beard growth, we're going to give it a quarter of a turn and open up that blade gap and you can see that the blade balance and alignment spot on. We're going to heat it up under some hot 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 water and uh, I get to this shave. All right. Ooh, that's good and hot. Like, like, like that. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's got some really, right, really, really nice smoothness and efficiency. Boy, that's great. That's a wonderful razor. Quarter turn is about all I'm going to go, is about, is, is about as high as I'll go with this razor. It was a good opportunity to go a little bit beyond a quarter of a turn, but you know, I'm a creature of habit sometimes. Next time. Next time, I'll make a mental note that next time I'll, I'll need to go a little bit beyond a quarter of a turn when I have two to, days work, two to, two to three days worth of beard growth. Wow, that's marvelous. All right, first pass down, let's rinse. Yeah, I'm approaching darn fine shave territory. Uh, but I've got two days worth of beard growth, so I don't expect to get everything in one fell swoop. We're going to go ahead and just paint on some more lather here. And 
The lather has stayed nice and rich and creamy and yogurty in the lathering bowl here. It hasn't broken down at all. It's just remained a very, very consistent. Look at that. That's just, that's marvelous. That's wonderful. Look at that. Brush does a really nice job of painting on that lather. It, it really did a great job in whipping up a lot of lather, but it also has uh, the, the, a really nice ability to just to paint it on, and you can really pinpoint what area you want the lather to go to. And that's marvelous. And uh, I got plenty on the brush here. Plenty on the brush. I've got plenty in the bowl still. Let me just show you. I can just scrape this off and show you how much I have there. Look. Okay. I mean, I, boy, I got plenty. I got plenty for like maybe four passes. I mean, that's marvelous. All right. So let's uh, snug this up all the way. And we'll, we're going to turn uh, about an eighth. Okay. Give it an eighth of a turn. So it's not as aggressive as the first pass but it's still opening up the blade gap uh, enough for a second pass. I'm doing the decrease method. Uh, okay, so here we go with pass number two. We're gonna go, we're gonna go east to west across the grain. Marvelous, absolutely marvelous, marvelous shave. But I have to credit the shaving brush because it made such a wonderful lather. It really whipped up a nice lather. It really, really did. Boy, that's... <laughs> That's really, really very, very nice. Nice residual slickness there. Great maneuverability. Okay, second pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a nice, boy, that's a nice result. That really is a marvelous, marvelous result. My gosh. We're going to do one more pass. I think I'm in uh, upper darn fine shave, lower BBS territory right in there. And uh, I'm not trying to find the BBS, but I want to show you how much lather this brush generated and how much I can just paint on here very easily for a third pass. And we're going to make it a nice, mild third pass. Okay, look, I mean, <laughs> that's fantastic. I just took, uh, you know, uh, some lather out of the lathering bowl with the brush and just I mean, there it is. It's, it's, it's it was so easily applied to the face. And we're ready to go for a third pass here. And we're going to go ahead and snug that all the way up so it's nice and snug. It's at its uh, most mild setting. And we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south and north against the grain. I really, really like doing this pass. Here we go.
Oh, that's great. That's just great. Marvelous. Just absolutely marvelous. All right. Third pass done. Let's rinse. I'm on my way to a BBS shave, no doubt about it. And it was very smooth, very comfortable. I love these Platinum Strangelet razor blades. And I love the Ascension Twist Adjustable Razors. These are marvelous. Absolutely fantastic. It's a lot of fun shaving with them because you can just twist and kind of hunt and find where you want to set the aggression. And uh, it's going to be a little different each time, but it's still going to be a really, really nice result. So you can maybe twist it open a little more, a little less. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. It's kind of a shaving adventure. All right, here are my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. The awesome sauce has this great menthol and eucalyptus quality to it, ingredients to it like Parasso, but it's like to the power of 10. So this awesome sauce combined with the Q2.0, this cold water rinse is gonna give me a kick. This is a great shave soap for the morning. I mean, <laughs> this will wake you up. All right, oh man, it's good and cold. Look out, here we go, cold water rinse. Wow, wow, that was great. What a kick. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Wow. What a marvelous shave. What a great way to shave. You know, if this is your first time to the channel, and you're not doing the traditional wet shave, what are you waiting for? I mean... It's a great way to shave. You you cannot go wrong with this razor blade shave soap brush pre-shave. You'll get some great, great shaves. The best way to shave, and it's the best time to be doing the traditional wet shave because great artisans like Douglas Smythe are bringing such great products to the wet shaving market, wet shaving community. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. Now, I've got my... Uh, my uh, Phoenix Shaving Alum Block. I like to finish this my shave off with uh, an L Block after each shave. And uh, we're going to run this under some cold water and pass this over my cleanly shaven face and see what kind of feedback we get. Boy, I got a great result. And the awesome sauce is still kicking in. That is just fantastic. That menthol and eucalyptus just stays with you so much longer uh, and then Paraso Green. It is longer lasting than Paraso Green. No doubt about it. All right, here we go. And no stinging, no zinging at all. That was a wonderful smooth shave. My gosh, is that great. Smooth as ice, some nice bracing. Fantastic. Dry dock, the Allen block, the no slip grip. We just let the air in the room do the rest of the job in drying that out. Let's take a look at the lathering bowl and the brush. I've got a lot here left over. If I want to do a head shave, and I do need a head shave, I have more than enough. I could just jump right into doing a head shave right now. But what we're going to do is, matter of fact, I'm going to leave that in there just in case I decide to do a head shave here. Uh, after our uh, camera stops here, but we are going to clean the uh, clean the brush out. Okay, we're going to clean the brush out to show you how quickly this cleans up. To give you an idea, I'm very very gently massaging the uh, cream out of the knot. 
and uh, it is cleaning up very, very quickly. And uh, I'm just, I'm just using some warm water, not hot water, just some warm water, and I'm just giving the knot just a gentle squeeze like this, and just, just kind of pushing that lather out there, just kind of squeezing it out, and then just running some clean water in there. And there we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give this a few vigorous shakes to shake to uh, shake out that excess water because synthetic knots can grab a lot of water and they can throw off a lot of water almost instantly. And look, look at that. I mean, I haven't even toweled it off and it's already like 95% dry. Look at that. Just blot that dry a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that great? Uh, 22 millimeter knot, a little smaller, which means it's going to clean up a little quicker than, say, a 26 millimeter knot. But what a great looking shaving brush. Great for travel, great for home. Did a great job in building the lather. You saw it. Uh, some really nice moderate backbone that uh, will aid you for building a lather in a bowl or even a face lather. I haven't face lathered with it because I've I'm doing a lot of bowl lathering now. This was marvelous for bowl lathering. And it also did a great job painting the lather on the face. And it looks beautiful. This clear acrylic candle is just absolutely stunning. And I just love how the knot sits in there. You can see the base of the knot in the handle. The shape of the handle is wonderful. Even though it has these flat sides, you're able to get a nice firm grip of it. Even though the lather was running over the brush, it never once slipped in my hand. It's just absolutely fantastic, fantastic brush. This is a winner. Check it out. The Astraeus from Phoenix Shaving. Absolutely love this brush. Now, before we get out of here, let's uh, top it off with a little bit of uh, uh, Awesome Sauce Aftershave Splash. This is, again, like Parasso Green. We're just going to put so I'm here like this. Boy, this is going to give me a, this is a really just a nice kick. All right, here we go. That's great. That, <laughs> that's great. If you like Parasso Green, you're going to love Awesome Sauce. And I also have a little bit of the uh, Star Jelly here for upstairs. So... We'll use a little bit of that. Again, I need a head shave, so I'll probably, I might, I'm not going to do it immediately. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Again, great, great shave. Absolutely wonderful. Fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. I love this shaving brush. This is definitely going to be a favorite. Let me show you, before I get out of here, let me show you how it compares in size to some of the other Phoenix shaving brushes. Here it is next to the Solar Flare. Check that out. Solar Flare is a 24 millimeter knot. The Astraeus is 22 millimeters. Look at that. How about that? Here it is next to the Green Ray, which I believe is also a 24 millimeter knot. Okay, here's the Green Ray here. Here is the Astraeus. All right, so you can see, I mean, yeah, the Green Ray a, a, has a little more, uh, Little, there's a little more density, but boy, the performance of the Astraeus is very, very equal to the to the Green Ray and also to the uh, Solar Flare. Uh, just absolutely a fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. And let's show it to you uh, next to the um, the Doppler here. So here's the Doppler right here, 26 millimeter knot, and here's the Astraeus. I mean, it kind of holds its own, you know. I mean, it really does. I mean, it, it looks, even though it's a 22 millimeter knot, right, it just has a substantial look and feel to it, especially when you uh, pair it against, uh, say, the solar flare, all right? You know, it, it just, it looks as substantial as a solar flare and the green ray, and it, it doesn't look as diminutive next to the, uh, the Doppler. I mean, you know, so it really is, uh, a very good, substantial, high quality, great performing shaving brush, the Astraeus from Phoenix Shaving. Check it out. I'll have links below to this and all the other Phoenix Shaving products that I used on this review today. 
All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.